Today, folks, we got four big stories for you guys. One of them dealing potentially with Nintendo Switch 2. Another one dealing potentially with a brand new special edition Switch OLED that's supposed to be announced this week. You can probably already take a guess at that. We also have some news on Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope because the final DLC dropped today and we have a new trailer and some interesting notes about that. Oh, and we're not done because Nintendo did announce a brand new event happening in 2024. So what are we waiting for, folks? Let's get into that new after I remind you that, hey, we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. I'm going to keep reminding you guys because we really want to get there. So hey, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this content. And you know what? Ring-a-ling that ding -a -ling so you get notified of all future videos. Now, let's get into the news. <laughs> So it looks like Nintendo Switch 2 has a better than not chance, I mean it pr might not happen, but a pretty good chance that it could be unveiled this year based on the recent rumblings coming out of Gamescom. In fact, there's a shot, a potential shot, it might be unveiled in the way the Xbox Series X was at the Game Awards. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, let's dive into this because you know what? It all comes from someone who I've conversed with in the past named Zomble. Now, keep in mind before we dive into what Zomble said here that while information is supporting some things about to be said, it's all behind the scenes. And as such, this is to be treated as a rumor with some speculation on the part of the person sharing and then additional commentary from myself. It is not intended to be taken as a fact. Zomble, a forum poster at Family Boards, who helped us put together a Switch 2 spec video a while back, has come forward to explain he too has heard from multiple sources behind the scenes that Nintendo was indeed at Gamescom sharing Switch 2 information directly with developers, getting them to sign NDAs and getting them all set up for Switch dev kits. Here's what the post said. So I'm going to be a bit vague here, but I'll update everyone with the current situation. Switch 2 is in the hands of every major developer interested. Sample production, testing, and ramp up. A full-scale production is happening this year from what I've heard. Money DJ reported a while back that it would start in November and December, we're talking about production, of uh, this year, and that lines up with multiple sources I've been hearing. We are still waiting on a Funkle to really give us the details, but it seems like leaks by the end of this year are probably going to happen. There is some rumblings of a direct happening in two or three weeks, but this will likely happen before Tokyo Game Show. It should be the last focused Switch Direct. Now, this is just his personal speculation. At Gamescom, Nintendo presented behind closed doors Switch 2 information to publishers and developers. They will do the same at Tokyo Game Show and possibly in Brazil in mid-October. This presentation wasn't the most secure thing in the world. The reason I can share this? I don't know the sources here. I've heard from so many people on this that I trust that I don't really need a source. I bring this up because I want to explain why I think there will be an announcement this year for a presentation about Switch Redacted next year. It could happen any time after October. I think they will release Mario Wonder first. I don't think Nintendo wants to announce it directly, however, which is why I think they will use a venue like the Game Awards. It is so core focused that the only ones who are watching it that don't know a Switch successor is coming next year are people who don't care about Nintendo and exactly the type of market Nintendo would like to reach with such a powerful device. I also think the Game Awards uniquely has the right timing for this, particular announcement because production will start this year. Leaks will happen shortly after and because they are showing off at multiple events before the end of this year, the likeliness that it leaks is too high. This is speculation, but expect the real stuff we are actually after to be early next year. Now, on a little bit of an unrelated note to the Switch 2 stuff, obviously, him talking about the Nintendo Direct happening in the next two to three weeks. Look, Zippo said next week, he's saying next two to three weeks. It is what it is. Nintendo's all over the place with their September Directs. It always happens the first full week, the second full week, or the third full week right before Tokyo Game Show. There's no real consistent pattern in how Nintendo does it, so we just have to wait and see. Obviously, we have the Mario Direct this week, which could suggest it could be at least a two-week wait until the General Direct, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, all of that being said, naturally, we don't know what's happening with the Nintendo Switch 2 behind the scenes. Would they actually unveil it like the Xbox Series X at 
the Game Awards, or would they want to do it on their own? Nintendo traditionally does their own unveiling events, but then again, this could be a special situation. It is the follow-up to a massively successful platform that maybe Nintendo wants to get even more audience, you know, really paying attention to. And you know what? There's over 80, over 100, whatever. It's crazy numbers the Game Awards has in terms of viewers worldwide. So it is an excellent platform that could advertise Nintendo's upcoming system to a much larger audience than Nintendo can reach just on their own. Also, this wouldn't preclude a future Nintendo redacted, you know, Switch 2 event happening early next year at some point to further give details and more launch games and all of that stuff. So, and that would probably be more focused on Nintendo's own channels with dedicated presentations and directs. Anyways, guys, that's just a lot of speculation based on a lot of rumblings based on what has likely occurred at Gamescom. Take it for what you will. I said, none of this is a fact but it's starting to come together. Next up, a brand new launch trailer drop for the third portion of the Sparks of Hope DLC, and here it is. Look, I just really want to talk about this because it is one of my favorite games on Switch, and I will be playing this DLC all weekend, but let's get into a little bit of information here. So if you want a taste of what to me looks like the best content in the entire game, I do want to make sure you guys actually go check out the real full trailer with audio. We can't play the audio for you guys, uh, but the Phantom himself goes off and does a little song, and it, it's so great. But beyond that, they did a featurette with the developers. They talked passionately about bringing back Rayman and what it means to them. It's quite heartwarming to see the passion in which this entire game, let alone the DLC, brought out in them. Now remember, if you 100% this DLC, there is supposedly a special message for Rayman fans. I can't wait to see what that message is myself, so I'm going to 100% it before the internet spoils it for me. It might already be out there. I have no idea. Usually these DLC take, you know, 6 to 10 hours, so... We'll have to wait. At least I'm going to wait. I'm going to try to avoid the spoilers because I want that message to hit me raw for the first time while playing the game. Next up, Nintendo announced a brand new event for next year. And whoa, what is happening? It's another Nintendo Live. Can you believe it? Nintendo's going live, baby. Well, I mean, look, they're doing this also this year in Seattle, Washington. And it's not really a whole lot. It's just playing games that are already out. Here's a little concert. Here's some tournaments. And we call it a day. They're doing that again, and they're doing it in Tokyo in January. But you know what? Let's head over to the website that announced this and go through some of the details in case you just happen to be in Tokyo in January and you want to check this out. So it's going to take place in January of 2024, and it's going to end up hosting a Splatoon 3 World Championship 2024 and a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe World Championship 2024 as well. There will be live music performances from games like Splatoon 3 and, yes, folks, Zelda. Like, this might be... The real reason I'd want to go. And these are going to be orchestral performances at that. Zelda music, I know, is glorious with the orchestra. Anyways, there will be a Splatoon 3 and Smash Bros. special that everyone can participate in. You didn't think they'd leave out Smash Bros, did they? Now, there will be a game experience booth. This is where you just play some of Nintendo's already released games. Photo spots and merchandise to purchase. Now, look, there's nothing really notable here. It's just going to fall in line with what they did in 2023. There is this weird asterisk at the end that says, like, no new hardware has been unveiled or something. I, I don't know if they're hinting that maybe there might be an additional thing. I, I doubt it, though. I don't think Nintendo's going to use this event for anything other than what Nintendo Live has always been. A nice gathering for the family to sort of just have a nice little day around Nintendo characters and get your photo ops and buy some merchandise, right? It's just, these are small events. They're not really meant to be big deals. Like, think about them like just having Pokemon Go Fest, right? That's basically the Pokemon Go Fest of Nintendo. Now, our last story today is maybe the biggest story of the day, but also technically still a rumor. You guys know we cover rumors and leaks, and well, we have some two legit news pieces in here, two of them are like rumors and leak category. It just is what it is. It's that kind of day today. But this one is dealing with a brand new Nintendo Switch OLED, which is just common sense and highly likely to happen and totally Nintendo and going to be overhyped with some people's titles and thumbnails. But honestly, it's really not that big of a deal, and it's kind of a disappointment. Uh, let's just dive into this supposed new system that's being announced this week. So it comes from Deal Labs writer Bill Bill Kahn, who has reported correctly, to be fair, on similar things in the past. In his article, he says Nintendo is unveiling this system in the upcoming Mario Direct, and the new system will be called the Nintendo Switch OLED Model Mario Red Edition. Oh boy. <laughs> it will feature red Joy-Cons and a red dock, but no other Mario branding. Nintendo has actually done similar things in the past. 
The first, they had the Mario Red Joy-Con Edition launch around the holidays when you could pick three digital Mario games, one of three, and you get that for free with your system. The other more well-known special edition Mario uh, Switch was the Mario Red and Blue Edition. It came with red Joy-Cons and a red dock. Sounds familiar, right? But it also included a red shelled standard switch, a blue Joy-Con grip with blue Joy-Con straps, along with a Mario-themed red and blue carrying case. And I think there was some blue accents on the buttons on the controllers as well. Now, based on this rumor, the new system is basically this, except doesn't have the blue color accents or the carrying case and no red theme switch itself. It's just the Joy-Cons and the dock. Wow. Super exciting Nintendo. This actually makes it maybe the most unimaginative special edition Switch they've ever released. But then again, this is Nintendo and they've done stuff similar to this before. Hello, just Joy-Con colors. So yeah, like it's totally what Nintendo would do. But also when you come off of the amazing things like the Animal Crossing special edition, the Splatoon 3 special edition, the Tears of the Kingdom special edition and your Mario one, Mario, you know, the biggest IP Nintendo probably has direct control over besides Pokemon. And this is, this is what you get. Oh, well, folks, remember, they are ramping up to their next system. So maybe they just don't want to put too much effort into stuff like this. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rumpel Jans from Nintendo Prime. Uh, we do have a podcast tonight featuring Jake Randall, Eric Moore, my co-host, is back on, and Wes Nemo. It's a four-person cast. We're going to be talking about a lot of the Switch 2 stuff, a lot of the Mario Direct happening. Remember, we have a Mario Wonder Direct happening tomorrow. We'll be live streaming that. And I just want to thank you guys for being here. Uh, it's been a sort of a journey getting this Prime new stuff out on time. I don't even know if this one's exactly out on time, but it's the closest yet. And... We are trying out brand new audio today. Uh, let me show you guys something here that you might not be aware. We, you, we were using like lavalier mics and all this and the audio was a bit tinny, but now we got this. Yeah, this is uh, the Sennheiser uh, MKH416. I'm sure I just got a lot louder because it's, it's, like, it's like a boom shotgun mic thing. I don't know, let, let me know if the audio is any better this time around.